When it comes to making money, he has made a lot of it, literally. Bridgeport native Art Williams Jr. was one of the most prolific counterfeiters in the world. He was on the most wanted list by the Secret Service and was even profiled on American Greed. After serving 12 years in prison, now Art uses his artistic talents in a whole new way. This is where I have fun. This is where I just unload. That's me being crazy. Because <laughs> every one of these is printed on a sheet of money. Oh. Even the money you can't see, there's money in there. See the money right there? Yeah. They say counterfeiting is the most addictive thing. And so every time I'd get out, they'd spank my hand, right? And I'd get a job doing construction or something, and then something bad would happen, and right away I'd go back to the money. But this collection, so when I went into the hole, these were some of the first books that I read. Michelangelo changed my life. I read that book, and as soon as I got to prison, I took an art class. I mean, I was 33 when I got jammed up, like really got jammed up. And when did you start? 12 was the first time I got arrested for, for stealing a car at 12 years old. 12 to 44, I had been on probation that whole time. Been in and out of prison, all this. Did you ever think that you would get caught? Did you ever think, I'm, I'm gonna get away with this forever? It's a, it's a hope, it's like a, it's like a criminal's dream, right, you know what I'm saying? But that's what it is, strictly a dream because you know, the, the people you're going against, they have more resources than you could even possibly imagine. And, and, there, and there's all kinds of mishaps happening in life that's going to lead you to get caught. When I got out this last time, it was more for me to just be free, and I had never felt that before. And, and not only just free from prison, but free from the counterfeiting. How much was it about making the millions of dollars, and how much was it about the art of just mastering that bill to be perfect? That was the bigger thing, mastering the bill. Like, for me, the money, I was a survivor, so I always would make enough to live. I gave more away than I, than I kept ever, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, a lot of the things that I, I mastered on the money, I just kind of rolled them over to here. And so I, here's my serial number right there, 2030424. But this is a sheet of money. You can see the money behind it. So when you say serial number, you're saying this is the number that you used to put on the bills? No, that's the number they gave me when I went to prison. Oh, this is, <laughs> yeah. no, this yeah. is your prison yeah, serial no, number. No, 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 I don't know no, if we no, were no, talking no. about dollar bills. No, no, that was, that was my name for a minute. <laughs> yes. Michelangelo started me with Caesar because my middle name was Julius. Plato and Socrates and Marcus Aurelius, I read all their philosophies. And then, of course, Da Vinci. And, and he's who I studied his oils. Oh, look at oh, these. Oh, this is your stuff. Yeah, this is Ella, Frank, and Kurt Elling. He's from Chicago. Do you see the glitter in there? Yeah. That's an oil painting. This is a really beautiful oil painting. Yeah. Gorgeous oil painting. Ella, Ella Fitzgerald. Because not only do I put the money in there, but then I put secret watermarks in there. I mix my own paints. There's the no counterfeiter does not want his stuff getting no, counterfeited. No, I don't. I don't, man. I don't. <laughs> How much money do you think you counterfeited and are your bills still in circulation? So I'm sure they're in Europe, man, you know? How much? I mean, that, that's a question I never could answer because I've burned 300,000, 500,000, printed it, didn't like it, and just burned it. What's a bigger thrill, seeing the bills come out printed for the very first time or finishing a masterpiece like this? I've had a thousand thrills. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There was the thrill of making a paper, there was a the thrill of this, there was a the thrill of that. But the biggest thrill that I love, I've had, I've, I've seen a crowd where I've got all kinds of different people and they're all talking and laughing and having fun and just enjoying the art and then they leave and it's just been an amazing moment. That is the thing that I learned is the greatest thing about this. It's just straight up humans coming together, enjoying art and having a great time. What a great redemption story. By the way, if you're wondering, Art's pieces go anywhere from $5,000 to 50 grand. One sold at Arnold Schwarzenegger's charity event for $100,000. Wow. And a movie wow. on his life is said to be in the works. Maybe you can play him. <laughs> I want a cameo. I already told him. Yeah.